thing, both farming and shepherding. For example, Ruth, right? Naomi is from Bethlehem. Um, there's a drought. Her family moves to Moab, which is just on the other side of the Rift Valley over here. Um, her sons marry Moabite women. Yes, that's why we have here for this kind of place. Yeah, okay. For the main one, we have here. No. We have a lot of the rest This place is kind of beautiful. It's a good, it's a good view. It's a great picture to go in and get that cross and put the Holy Sepulchre behind it, the, the Dome of the Rock, um, and the ironwork is all like thorns, thorns from the crown. Yeah. So we can't quite walk for Jesus walk. And if we could, it'd be a greater blessing because Jesus said, Lo, I am with you always. But we're going to be a little higher. <laughs>
exposed with the hill coming in and some have values on the side. But this is the city of Israel. And they haven't yet built the temple up here to the actual like primary scripture. The logical idea of what David would do is how is this way? It's right here. They've been looking for it. It's so like that he's done all these things. How's it going? Hi, good. All right. <laughs> what do you think so far? Tel Aviv. <laughs> Anybody got any comments at all? And nobody wants to say anything? It was awesome. Awesome. It's very cool. How was it, Jeanette? I, I'm really glad. You're on my DVD, so say something. <laughs> it yeah. wasn't nearly as bad as I feel. Fantastic. No, we <laughs> Well, there was no white out, right? I mean... You get a portion of it themselves, and hopefully by the end of, the, of today, you, you kind of begin to understand why they wanted Benjamin's territory so much. So that's kind of the goal. Right. Now, as we're looking at our map, I want to use the example of, well, let's do like front door, back door. And where no man dwelt. Oh, that's so inviting. <laughs> <laughs> you know, pits, drought, wilderness. Years, I'm sure the 40 is not just a happening, mm -hmm. but the Israelites came to the desert and failed in their dependence and faith on God. Mm -hmm. Jesus came to the wilderness mm -hmm. and passed the test mm -hmm. on his faithfulness to the Father and independence. And we come from a Western society where most of our needs are met by society. And there's something about coming to the desert and say, if I was just out there without all my stuff, without all my support, you know, how would I respond to God? Is that the College of the Desert? Neil deserves it. A little bit of bread and um, sometimes they would weave baskets and stuff as they were up here in their, their caves, take to the monastery. The monastery would sell it as a way to help support itself. Um, not done so much anymore. <coughs> What's the name of that monastery again? St. George. <laughs> Coney. Old Testament is called Coney. Like a big rat type thing. Get your, can you get my Bible out? In the CD, so I want to make sure I get all the action shots. So 
a great picture right there if you come to the top of the pass. Come on down. into a wedge shape. Um, this was a brand new thing that Herod brought to this country. Um, the technical term is opus reticulatum. All it means is you can use this technique and create round rooms. So instead of real square rooms, you could finally bring in kind of the, the round shape. So he was one of the first, well he was the first to bring this type of building technique to this area. So, I'll let you guys kind of explore if you'd like. in God's strength himself in himself, himself. But, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, but Hebrews 11 is is, is, uh, is talking about Samson's faith in, 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 uh, in God so what was it about Samson that somehow the writer of Hebrews was willing to add him to the list because when you stand here you just say well all we see here is a playboy who's going to great lengths just for the purpose of satisfying his flesh, his, flesh, his hormones. So but, but what, what is it about his faith? Can you? Have <laughs> Front of you. Oh, oh. There you go. You're already starting. <laughs> there goes half the other group. Here you go. I'm going to try this to see if I can. Go on your back. Oh, he's on his back? Mm -hmm. Dad, oh my goodness. No, I have my hand back. Just my pocket. Oh, I'm going to pass that back. Really? 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 I'm sorry. Excuse me. Not yet. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. It's tight. You'll make it done fine. I can already say I've been in a cave. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Go for village. Go, <laughs> gotta have somebody in there. Where's he at? Way up there. The stairs leads to the opening of a burial cave carved into the soft limestone. From the vestibule, three halls branch off along their walls. 41 burial niches are hewn out in a recess. The lower parts of the walls form a bench. The walls of the central chamber are decorated with colorful paintings and inscriptions. At the front of the hall, opposite the entrance to the cave, is an interior burial chamber built in the form of a Greek temple. 
two tall urns grace its entrance, similar to the amphorae placed alongside ancient Greek tombs. How do I improve my slice? How do you improve your slice? I just said that. I heard you're. Okay, I want to talk to you about that. I want a free lesson for this movie. Is an owned by this group, so so there there two, could be two things going on. I think, right, Cindy? I, where are you? Where are you? And what's this called? Um, trying to conquer and control this territory. Um, it offers a lot of great agriculture. Um, of course, the international trade that you can tax the trade coming in and out. And
fill it in with other little pebbles and then we'll fill you with that too. Okay, this is yeah, a huge deal. There's just different ways to I guess we're going to the well one more time, huh? Which is the sun god, who's always depicted as riding on a chariot pulled by horses up over the horizon line. So he seems to be symbolized there. So, interesting, um, as they started uncovering a lot of these types of... Take about 20 minutes to get it open. <laughs> Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary, Wenham, Massachusetts. Mike. 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 Okay. Have you guys all oh. seen this? No. 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 Okay. My diploma. <laughs> As Gordon Conwell Theological Seminary, Cindy Parker has completed the requirements for the degree of Masters of Art in Biblical Trivia, <laughs> People in Time Mismanagement. <laughs> okay, hold on, it's something in Hebrew, I have to figure out what this says. It better not be nasty. What? <laughs> it's what? <laughs> Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What? What? Come on. <laughs> what is it? Our shoe. We just had some. We just had some. Okay, so I have no idea what it says. I just oh. played it up. Yeah, this is cool. This is so fantastic. I don't music at all. So when my people are going, do you give music? I don't. So I don't even think of it. Oh. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above the heavenly host. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bill! <laughs> Stay right here. I'm going to have Bill come up now. War story kind of background. And then second experience where you felt like God was really moving you forward in your faith was during the riots in L.A.? What happened there? Uh, you love the Lord? Yeah. All right. Based on your commitment of faith in Jesus Christ, that you love him, you want to serve him, I believe that to baptize you, and you're the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Get in the boat and say, let's go 
to the other side, just about what? It's about ministry, right? It's about mission. So he's actually headed to the other side to confront darkness. Now, if that be the case, what do you think probably the evil one's going to do? Probably try to stop him, right? Him along with them in the boat, just as he was, and other boats were with him. Now, verse 36 might just seem like a, a little bit of color to the story, but what could you read into verse 36 that might tell us something about that night? Any? They, they, yeah, so they took him just as he was. Not quite sure what all of that means. But what could the other boats tell us about what's going on? People following him, and it's just not smooth sailing. And worse than that, storm, Jesus is asleep. The disciples who were fishermen, they, they were unnerved, which says to you this was a, not like other storms they faced. And then verse 39, and he got up, and he rebuked the wind, and he said to the sea, Hush, be still. And the wind died down, and it became perfectly calm. Go ahead and let cattle graze in this area and use it more for grazing. You'll see um, very large cattle. Yes, sir. So, I think I know this, but just to make sure. So, generally, this is okay. the heritage sites. Oh. Now, just for mm -hmm. a study. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our maps. I kind of want to do a little bit of map orientation, and then I'll give you some time to explore parts of the site, and I'll tell you some things that might be pretty cool. Casemate means it's inside the other wall. So with the other wall. Casemate, no, means that there aren't more people. So as they were coming in, like maybe pouring out part of their olive oil or pouring out part of their wine or leaving some of the grain or any of those um, prophets and the Assyrian army is on its way in. So this... That would have been the kind of structure. Yep. 1800, 2000. Yep. Tiberius, which is these, 
the, the, the town that you see over there, the city. Um, but as we sit here and drift, the boat's going to continue to turn. You have to keep shuffling your map <laughs> into the pigs. And why are pigs over here? But because this is the Decapolis and pigs are okay. And the Romans really liked pigs. Hey, Mike. That was great, huh? The house area. And then as over time, as that family gets larger and the oldest son brings his wife into the house and, you know, and they create their little apartment, they build, you know, a enormous important because the amount of water that you supply determines the size of the village. The Six-Day War in 1967. Intensive archaeological research was led all over the Golan, during which the synagogue was exposed and partially restored. The synagogue served of a wreath, a jug, and pomegranates. Inside the hall are two rows of columns that once supported a tile... Typical house. Very cool place. Yeah, this is great. The following day, when the crane came to pull it out of the water, there was one very dangerous moment. One wrong move. See him? See the fish? What? Fish. See him? He's got fish right there. He netted some fish. Oh yeah. Up on these hills here is where is the traditional site. Or at the very top of the mountains up here is where the church is. But these hills seem to be a good geographical spot. Although you can choose these, you can choose the hills over by the plains of Bethsaida as well. Um, and some people actually do think that it probably was over on the other side.
um, often acted as boundary lines for the ancient kingdoms. And this is the one that is furthest north, the Yarmouk. There's mo he's moving right now. Yeah. He's taking off. There's enough of that stuff. <laughs> oh, it just got to stop for us.
Material Kalain de Belém, esposa do Of the theater and the middle point, you can hear everywhere. So that's the place what they call it the oratory of the person who. Sounds like it's empty inside yeah. because of the different minerals that's been. Down. Um, this one is an unfinished. The Edomites used to live in this area. This is the land of Sa'ir, the land of the Edomites. And the Nabataeans have lived with the Edomites. We have a couple of. Yeah. tan feo, son gafes, traen mala suerte, nos da mal presentimiento, excepto en la India le adoran. Wait, 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 wait. Thanks.
Hey, buddy. How's it so far, buddy? Yeah. Bethlehem's only 19 miles. But that's not. Each person you have to pay like ten dollars, seventy not. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we, yeah. We, yeah. Who, you pay already? Who do, no, we're gonna pay. Me, you pay you. You pay yeah. no. Okay. No, okay. Okay. You trust this guy. Yeah. Yes, no, no, okay. Okay. No, okay. That's yeah. our own cousin <laughs> and brothers. <laughs> Nice. Yeah. Is this the way Harrison Ford started out? Okay. I walk a mile for a camel. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's right. Who's right here? Oh, here's somebody here. This is Colleen. Okay. Giddy up. Giddy up. Okay. That's. Go ahead. Can you say anything worthwhile? Uh, we're on camels. Oh, no, that's good. Isn't that yeah, did it take you the whole time to think of that? <laughs> Kurt, what do you have to say? Kurt! Uh, Never mind. Never mind. It's too late. I'm tired. Okay. <laughs> Confucius say, next time, no tube on camel. No tube. Beautiful. Probably. Thank you. 
They're taking pictures of us. It's like the Japanese. Um, this is the little tiny spur of land that does connect the whole platform kind of island of rock of Masada to the other hills just to the west of us. Um, the Romans came in though and built up the ramp in order to bring all their siege equipment up here. See, they used the prisoners, the Jewish prisoners at the front of the, of the machine. Proverbs 20, verse 14. Okay. 2014. Bad, bad, bad says the buyer, and then he goes and boasts about his purchase. <laughs> Can I hold the money now? <laughs> so, to Micah. <laughs> Micah will hold it all. But, uh, but. Like once he, David was here, out here with this imagery around him as he was writing a lot of these things. So they're really wonderful things to just kind of mull over and be thinking about. Um, Does this trail go anywhere? This looks like the last scene of Titanic.
I got it. I can tip toe. Okay, so this is one of the mikvaot, although not having the divided path anymore. Well, it's actually not the original entrance. That entrance is a man-made entrance. The original entrance is down the Let's see the shepherd guy. Bring his little clock on his little thing. All right. <laughs> Cindy's uh, discussion with us, uh, it made a real hit with me because she talked about the things that people put off doing uh, until it's too late, until they're not around anymore and they can't get it done. And uh, that really made me think about some things in my life. When we were up on Mount Nebo, it was the day we went to the wall and we got down to the arid layer and they found the spot where it was now the stones were crushed because they pushed them off but they were some of them were crushed some of them were still there the ones that jesus most likely walked on those exact stones so that was that's pretty neat i think my most special moment was at saint anne's when we had the chance to sing in the perfect acoustics that was very moving it just brought me to tears it was a beautiful moment. 